Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here back. Some more of our Madden franchise here. Oh, we didn't have an episode yesterday, I think, but mostly because watching football over my parents' house, things like that, watching good games. It's the uh, NFC and AFC Championship, so. We're back in our franchise. We got some stuff going on, but I do want to actually point out. Did not notice this. But Jalen Johnson is an 87 with a 2% boost. So he is now actually better than Kyle Fuller is. But we're going to use Fuller at quarterback one because it seems like we see a lot on the left side of the uh, field. Of uh, the number one. Receiver on the opposing team, so keep him there. Got a couple things here. A breakout chance for here, the young guy, Gary Young. Hold the Bucks. This is the Tom Brady list Bucks. Brady is the backup. Looks like he's uh, struggled this year, so they went with a new quarterback, which I wish they would kind of do something different, but. Okay. happens hold the Buccaneers to at least 250 total yards or kick Gary Young one interception force fumble PFL or sack so we should be able to just get one there and he is currently I believe a normal dev yeah so this is for a star dev to get us another guy there Gonna be rushing the ball with David Montgomery a little bit. It is a very difficult defensive front to go up against, but we'll see what we can do. Give him 12 touches. Okay. And that's mainly because Vita Vea. He is a strong, strong run stopper. That's 150 yards rushing and three touchdowns. Ooh. Okay, we're going to be using a lot of outside runs probably in this. Here we go. Full game. Superstar X Factors here. Mike Evans, Cleo Mack, Allen Robinson, Vita Vea. Vita Vea has inside run plays, so this is going to be difficult. Clayton Judge, Levante, David. Chris Godwin, Roquan Smith, Shaquille Barrett, Antoine Winfield, and Harold Floyd. So, this is at home. Let's actually, or at home for the Bucks, that is. Let's go with our alternate classics there. You know what? We don't play the Bucks a whole lot, so. Let's see it, baby. Where are they? Here it is. You're going to see the creamsicle Buccaneers uniforms. The one plugin I do want to say is I had some suggestions on our new franchise. It's not going to be the Panthers. Today, it's for our coaching carousel. Uh, I'm going to announce what the franchise is. And how it works in the update video. It'll be out in the next day or so. By the time this is out, I'll probably be already out. So go ahead and check that out. That one's going to be a new one where, as a coach, we can be fired. We'll kind of see where it goes. Kind of waiting for a team that already fired its coach. It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Chicago Bears. This should give you an idea of what teams I'm considering. But it's Drew Locke. Drive. They will be led out by a second round pick in 2019. Out of Missouri, it's Drew Locke. Well, he did go 
two and two in the last ball game. Well, actually, he went two, two, and one, with the one being the victory. Yeah. That's the bottom line there. But wasn't it funny at practice? Star, he threw one star. when we were watching, we through an interception, and the defense got on him a little bit. Good nature, And there's Ralph Vaughn. Already. Good block there. Open down the middle of the field. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. From the gun, it's locked. And that is in. That's knocked away. Had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in the win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing the conditions. It's a 43-yard punt, a return about. of five, and the Bears take over. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And out will come the leader of this offense, and that, of course, is their signal caller. And they are in rhythm on offense because of him. I mean, right now, he's got everything going the way he wants to, finding the receivers the way he wants to, looking over defenses. No interceptions is the number I lock in on. Before a touchdown pass, didn't say that either. Yeah, what a game he had last week. And Sean Murphy bunting outside. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Nowhere to go there. It's a good play by Devin White. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 11. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Take care the middle of the field. All right. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Bears on the move. They've got another first down. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you're going to be a better receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's out there. And there it is, Darnell Mooney. coordinator oh, remember yeah. what he told us absolutely but some teams i script to move in the early part of the game other teams i script to attack they've been in attack mode for that's a good one and continue that in this one come on strong come on quick now after the touchdown here's pinero to kick it off takes this about five yards deep and he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you know, lose the field position down as a general rule. But they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Good play. First down and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. So in the Bear territory now, this is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Ah. Uh, missed him. 15-yard line. 34 yards the game that time. Another first down. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Shotgun snap to lock. Firing quickly here in the top lane. Big hit there by Edmonds. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Going nowhere. Call it a full three yard 
Hines in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping it for a loss. Come on, Jalen. Sensational one-handed grab of the end zone for the score looked like you at the Davis Turkey Bowl every year in the backyard in Orlando, Florida. Ah, uh, you're so kind. That's definitely in my mind. But how about this? They always tell guys. Should have been his own ass. This is a stupid play call on defense. A single-minded obsession to go get it. How about going up with a single hand and making that happen? I don't know if it's going to happen what we just saw there. That's it, baby. We got work. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be. He's down. And down inside the red zone at the 19-yard line. They may have the edge on the scoreboard, but that hasn't made them pass it. He was laying on the ground. Come on. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. I'm going back to you. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Caught on the left side by Robinson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make some help beat me rather than let him shred my defense. He's got the first in the middle past midfield and finally marked down at the 42-yard line. There we go. First down is this time they get an even two. The Montgomery going. Good plays have him on the move on first down. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus... And Cohen dropped that football. As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, the option to throw the football always about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football for triple option, you've actually called that play. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The Bucks defense stiffens and... He's trying to get that out to come out. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah, and now those 50 plus yards seem easy for some reason. First play of the drive there is incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. Maybe that tough rule being gone. Makes defense is a lot bolder. Yes, indeed. That's oh, he had the sack that he needed right there. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Check, 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 check. Throwing his lock on third down. That should have been picked. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Hey, D-line. There's Khalil. He's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Khalil Mack, what a season he continues to have. His 15th sack of the campaign. Single receiver, single receiver. Hey, hut, hut. Over there, single receiver. 
Another try after the first down sack. Lock. And this is incomplete. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Jalen's got that. Locking him down. They didn't have a chance. Trying to get to Allen Robinson again. There's a good blitz overload left side. Should have went the outside. Could have been a big game. Nowhere to go with that football. Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. Oh, what a good play. Good play call there. Come on, Goodson. I think he's better in zone, though. That's the thing. Today. Up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll go for it. It's locked. Oh, wow. I took a, took a rest there. And I got, I just got caught in traffic there.
you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. The Chicago offense set to get started and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do, you start getting first down. You win second down. I saw a blitz off the left side. Audible out of that. That's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive. Again. Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving. Scan the field. But here he finds the open guy. Crossing route complete. That's Robinson. 16 more on that one and another first down. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? First down. Come on. Elias Moss did not pick up that edge. Now there's also a flag to go with it. No. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking. Ever since they liberalized the rules, we can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide, and they get detected grabbing some cloth. Now he dumps this off into the middle. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. Get out to Cohen. Quick strike. Going on Mooney one on one. Nope. That's caught by Montgomery. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the ten. Good floater out there. Come on. Halfway there down to the one yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for. This Tampa Bay defense, they held strong in the first two plays. Now third and goal. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense. He's passed few downs, able to knock that one away on third down. We're going for it. I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down. Is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They'll run for it with Tariq Cohen. There it is. Touchdown Bears. Tariq Cohen, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bears have a little risky, but. There's Hicks. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. They don't repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Now the Bears are 
Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. timeouts now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with well, I can get a good return here maybe I have time for one more play this first punt, 45 yards this looks good as well that'll be a 41 yeah one play there on the return here we go. and control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half the Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think you're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do He's out of bounds. Out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. We have hit At least I thought he was. Two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll Maybe if I have one more second. The NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things starting to get interesting in this final weekend before Thanksgiving. Let's see what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, where it was the Vikings who were able to get the victory at home. 34-22, that was your final. From there, we head over to the West Coast. Check out the Niners at home at Levi Stadium. And at this point, they trail the visiting Baltimore Ravens. Two touchdown passes there for Lamar Jackson. Lastly, let's get you to Charlotte, North Carolina. Check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And they were losers in that game as they fall to the visiting Detroit Lions. 21 All right, Damn. Damn. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. And this will make it into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So here are the Bears to take over on offense. They are working on that very impressive nine-game win streak, looking to get it to 10 as they've got the lead here, first and 10. Throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. Cole Komet, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Decided to hit it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. What a run stuff. set to begin their next possession their defense just came up with a stop right out of the locker room and now can the offense take advantage yeah we don't want to turn this into something that it's not it's only a one score game so it's not exactly a crucial possession but at the same time they'd like to get things started and at least come away with three points the first down run got five here's second and five I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating well what you pointed out to me a half seems accurate that line has struggled with sustained blocks yeah, i would agree with that too. they've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level Make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. To throw it is locked. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's corralled, but not before. Come on, you gotta make that play. in 10 now from the 33. Ready, 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 go. And he'll go down at the 
26 following a gain of six. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the line. Do not let him break that tackle, Jalen. That should have been picked by Fuller. There's Roquan. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? There it is. He got his sack. Gary Young, good coverage in the zone. All right, he got Sardev. And Mims breaks away on the Ren Pass option. Let's go. Down on a gain of 10. 
the shotgun to give to Jones. And he's going to get this one down near the There's Blau Nichols. Tackle made there by Bilal Nichols. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun. Knocked away by Jalen. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. The good stop. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll go with Jones. Got it. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Throwing on first down is locked. There's Nichols again. Too long a coverage sack down he goes. Below Nichols. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. After the sack on first down, block. He sets up the screen to Jones. Nichols again. Backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48 yard line. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, let's had go, to figure go, they were expecting go. a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snub that one out. Ooh, good throw, but still going to be short. At least they get back in field goal range. He missed it wide left. Now listen, now no kick from 50 plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You think ideal conditions. Yeah, it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their backgrounds. They were all county, all state, and other positions. Not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Three yards the game there, second down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we can see. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make the play himself, as we just saw there, that's a problem. Able to connect to Mims. Rough in the passer. No, are you serious? It's a tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties. I know no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high, the tensions are the same. Who can control the best? And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Ah, uh, the good thing we didn't give it to Judge there. Judge would have been blown up. We're going Al Robinson, corner of the end zone. Say out of bounds 
He caught it, but was not in bounds. That one was close. Does he get both feet in bounds? He gets one, and Robinson cannot tiptoe that right foot in. Good try. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And that will extend their lead even further. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, push their backs clearly against the wall. Takes this about five yards deep. And this it's a nice try. Just could not get it there. Back now comes Tampa Bay. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game. So they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. First and ten. Here's Locke. That's a good throw. He's going to come down with it. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. But correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Just could not get pressure. And Kyle Fuller. That's a touchdown. Not a touchdown because Ronald Jones is so fast. Well, you're trailing. It's the fourth quarter, and you've got to throw the football. But the defense knows this too. So they're just going to sit back, bring in an extra defensive back or two, the old nickel or dime strategy, Brandon, and wait for you to put that bad boy up for grabs. And this one winds up being intercepted. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these two. Peter Vea. This one in the left hand column. And now right out of the two minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try to run some clock here. First down, baby. Sucked the life right out of this crowd. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Out of the gun, running with Cody. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Let's go now. Hawk 70, Hawk 70. Oh, 54. Ricky Rich, Ricky Rich. Right there, 54, right there, right there. 54, Mike. Yeah, yeah. The counter. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On third down, he'll drop to throw, and he completes it to Cohen. A little pick play, baby. Low pick play. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. 
And we take one away from the Bucks here. When you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop. Victory formation. Clayton Judge and the Chicago Bears moving to 10 and 0. The undefeated season. This defense has played great. With a big time performance down the stretch. So for the Bears, they keep on rolling 10 and 0 now to start the year. And now they'll get the short week as they get set to play at Detroit on Thanksgiving. Meanwhile, for the Buccaneers, they're going the wrong way as this will drop them to 3 and 7 now. On the Pretty clean game for Judge. Next week as they get a date with the Jaguars. 72 yards for David Montgomery, 18 carries. Touchdown for Cohen. Denzel Mims, buck 50. And touchdown, Gronkowski had a touchdown. It's Darnell Mooney. Mike Evans had one. Roquan Smith, nine tackles. Four tackles for loss of Devin White. Sacks by two by Hicks, one by Young, Nichols, Vita Vea, Maldin, Leo Mack, Roquan Smith. Interceptions by Jalen Johnson, Kyle Fuller. The defense just playing well. What it all comes down to. Defense is playing very, very solid. Um, oh, we're kind of run block. Put up his run block. Awareness, lead block, run block, run block power, okay. 22 rookie star dev. Already 19th best ta uh, best guard. Guard in the league. There was Gibson, moves out to a 70 overall. He's been on the team since the start. 26 year old. Bias Wilkinson. You're getting some. Might see a little bit of him. Him some power moves. Awareness. Okay. There's an injury like the Khalil Mack. If it actually does happen. Young shifts over and plays that Mack position. And Wilkinson takes over there. Wilkinson with Gibson in reserve. We'll see what he's really got. Running back, though. And I say it feels good to be moving the ball again. Let's go, baby. XP and morale. Breakout player. Wait, what? It was one sack, right? Wait, what? Let me look at this. I think game screwed that up.
He has a sack. Okay, so in the next episode, I'm going to look at what the requirements were. I'm pretty sure one it was one sack. Maybe they changed it to you need more than one. Oh, that's that's weird. I'm gonna look at that. If it's one plus, we didn't get it. I thought it was just get one. Could be wrong. Wait, he had two? He shared... Yeah. Because it doesn't recognize tackle assist for tackles of loss. So yeah, he had two. Get out of here, Madden. He had a freaking shared tackle with Bilal Nichols in the backfield against Ronald Jones. Madden trying to cheat me out of dev upgrades. Come on, man. What is this? Trying to cheat me here. Some bullshit. That's some bull. All right. So we go up against the Lions. Uh, this is our second meeting. We have a dev up trait grade for Denzel Mims. He can go up to a star. Ooh. Or no, he can go up to a superstar. So that's going to be big as we have Allen Robinson at 30 years old going in to his 10th uh, year, finishing up his 10th year. But uh, pretty much having this X factor, he's going to slowly uh, go down. And having a player to come in and essentially when Allen Robinson retires Mims takes over down the turn on Mooney is still the my slot guy is 25 years old he's playing great then we think about what to do there because we still have uh, Reynolds that's pretty good we got uh, Montague down here is 24 that's a star dev Holman that can play a slot guy because he's fast we have a lot of uh, depth at receiver I'm pretty happy with our receiving core so that is that getting Tolbert a dev upgrade is going to be a pain, but I think we can do it. I think we can. Uh, one thing we're going to have to worry about is white hair at 32 years old regressing and going after another center. I think Hartwell could be a successor out of here on another Dame, but just not good across the board. And Owen Peterson did play last year for us. We did win a Super Bowl with him. So maybe it's Amaya that kicks off to the inside. Plays that center position. And Hartwell and Peterson both fight over that right guard position. Which I'm fine with depth uh, with them fighting over that position. So Purcell was a good one. Uh, Texas A&M. 23rd best right tackle. Grass him pretty well. James Daniels, of course, is only 25 in his sixth year in the league. He is a third ring best uh, right tackle. Good. So we have the eventual ses successor to Khalil Mack when he does retire. Uh, we do have that. Roquan Smith is still has not got a dev upgrade to Superstar X Factor. Which is kind of disappointing there. Eddie Jackson still a star. Playing well. Kyle Fuller is playing well. Everyone is playing well on the defense. Hicks is playing exceptionally well. 
past two seasons. And then Nichols playing in that uh, defensive tackle position. Playing very well. Kerrigan was in depth because I wasn't really sure Harris or Richards was ready to come in and play. And I was definitely right with that. Steve Richards is only 22 years old. So, I mean, his progression is pretty good. Maybe he takes over that position. Maybe he drafts someone else. Who knows? So, the Lions. Let's see what happened the last time we played the Lions. I think we just completely demolished them. Yeah, 33 to 13. Daniel Jones, one touchdown. We did throw two picks, though, so with Judge. Rushes Montgomery had 95 yards. Cohen had 30. Judge had a rushing touchdown. Oh, they had 74 yards, touchdowns by him. Allen Robinson, Tariq Cohen, Darnell Mooney. They gave up a ton of sacks against us. Gary Young had two. Mack had a sack and a half. Kalani Tavai and Tracy Walker, the one with the interceptions for them. So it was a shellacking, to say the least. And over the progression... So look at this only beat the Giants by seven beat the Packers by four or by three uh, there's a 12 point win there four point win over the Panthers shellac the Saints only a three point win over the Packers again only an eight point over the Chargers they were undefeated them shellac the Vikings destroyed uh, the Lions then Vikings and then the Bucks a 27 17 10 point win not too bad and we go Lions Vikings Broncos Raiders Falcons Chiefs we could go into week 17 16 and 0 or 15 and 0 and going for the perfect season against a very very difficult Mahomes which was likely to be a Super Bowl preview Chiefs Bears And that is going to be a crazy, crazy one. So we are halfway through the season, or a little bit more than halfway. Let's see right now who the uh, big award leaders are looking like. For MVP, Lucas Cousins. Clayton Judge is right behind him, then Aaron Rodgers. Coach of the year, Matt Nagy always goes with the, the person with the most... Chiefs are nine and one. Stick with the NFC only right now. Offensive player of the year, they're gonna give it to Jared Goff right now. At the end of the day, Khalil Mack, Fred Warner is in there, Devin White. Offensive rookie of the year, Stephen Rudolph. Uh, Stephen Rudolph. Okay. I can see that. Brendan Winters is down here at nine. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Gabe Givens. Or Gabe Divens, my bad. Okay. I can see that. Quarterback. We're going to give it to Rodgers over Judge. Saquon Barkley, lead running back. Receiver, Al Robinson, Devontae Adams. Denzel Mims here at three. Ooh. Okay. Best O-line. Got one here. James Daniels at number three. We got another one down here, Cody Whitehair, number nine. Starting to break through in the O-line. Defensive line, Justin Houston. Okay. Good. Leo Mack is there in linebackers. Best DB, I say Oliver. Okay. No respect for our DBs. Eddie Pinheiro is always the best kicker for players. Let's look at the player stats really fast. The leaders in the league. Most yards, Jameis Winston. Most TB, TDs is Aaron Rodgers. Most interceptions is Ethan Price with 13. Rushing most yards, Saquon Barkley. He also has almost the most carries. That goes to Zeke Elliott. Most touchdowns to Aaron Jones. Most fumbles to Russell Wilson. 
Most receptions, Brandon Cooks was 65. Most yards, Michael Thomas up here at 888. Tom Robinson, 41 catches for 739. And Mims is 45 for 711. Most touchdowns, OJ Howard, Allen Robinson with eight. And we just saw that Mims had seven. The longest one, a 93 yard for Devin DuVernay. Okay. Most sacks is Kevin Dotson. Okay. Most solo tackles goes to Fred Warner. Most tackles in the league, Devin White. Roquan's at 85 here. Most sacks, Khalil Mack, of course. Miles Garrett, four behind, uh, three and a half behind him. Most interceptions, C.J. Henderson doing work. Uh, Force fumbles, Byron Jones. Fumbles recovered. That many blocks. Bunch of blocks here. Safeties, Nick Kwaski, Jalen Johnson. Okay. Touchdowns, Jarvis Ward has two. Bunch of ones there. And that will be a quick rundown of the player stats. We're the third best offense and the best defense in the league. So we are going strong this season. Going for another repeat. Or going for a repeat, not another one. So thank you all for joining me, guys. Week 12, we take on the Lions. We have a dev up trait for Denzel Mims. I will see you guys next time. Later.